Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 33rd series of Principles of Drug Discovery. In this video, we are going to see about pharmacophore mapping, pharmacophore modeling and the concepts of pharmacophore based screening. Put together, they have the same content. That is why they have I have given it in a cluster. So any question may come in the as a mapping or modeling you can use the same contents and fit into the uh, whatever questions which has been asked so let us go into the video so let us see what is a pharmacophore or pharmacophore modeling Ehrlich uh, was the first to coin the term pharmacophore defining it as a molecular framework that carries that means foros the essential features uh, responsible for a drugs that is pharmaco pharmacon biological activity in the 19th century a pharmacophore model is in accordance with the iupac's most recent definition it is an ensemble of steric and electronic features required to ensure the optimal supramolecular interactions with a specific biological target and to trigger or block its biological response well, let us see the key features of pharmacophore mapping or modeling the key features uh, are the types of bioactivity, feature volumes, interfeature distances, and the potential uh, included or excluded volumes make up uh, the pharmacophore of an active molecule. Since the number of pharmacophore points in an ensemble uh, may be adjusted and the target protein's entire structure is condensed to the potential binding site, the pharmacophore idea uh, enables quick virtual screening. Hydrophobic, aromatic, and donors for hydrogen bonds are among the uh, feature categories. The model can then be used to look for new molecules that correspond to pharmacophore once these properties has been identified. Let us see what is 2D pharmacophore. A 2D pharmacophore is a representation used in molecular modeling and drug design to describe the spatial arrangement of functional groups and features on a molecule that are responsible for its biological activity and the interactions with the target protein or receptor. In 2D pharmacophore, molecular features such as hydrogen bond donors, hydrogen bond acceptors, hydrophobic regions, and other functional groups may be typically represented as points or specific patterns on a two-dimensional plane. These features are derived from experimental data or computational simulations and are used to guide the design of new compounds with improved binding affinity and selectivity for a specific target. 2D pharmacophores provide valuable insights into structural requirements for a molecule to interact effectively with the target and they can aid in virtual screening, lead optimization and identification of potential drug candidates. However, it is important to note that while 2D pharmacophores are useful tool, they do not capture the full three-dimensional complexity of molecular interactions, uh, which is where uh, 3D pharmacophores and molecular docking uh, techniques come into play. Now let us see what is 3D pharmacophore. A 3D pharmacophore is an advanced representation used in molecular modeling and drug design to describe the spatial arrangement of molecular features and interactions that are critical for a molecule's biological activity and binding to a target protein or receptor. Unlike 2D pharmacophores uh, that are limited to two-dimensional representation, 3D pharmacophores uh, take into account the three-dimensional structure of both the ligand, that is the molecule of interest and the target. In 3D pharmacophore, uh, various uh, molecular features such as hydrogen bond donors, hydrogen bond acceptors, hydrophobic regions, aromatic rings and other functional groups are represented as points or volumes in three-dimensional space. These features correspond to key interaction points required for optimal binding and activity of a ligand at its target site. The advantage of using 3D pharmacophore is that it provides some more accurate and detailed representation of the molecular interactions and spatial constraints involved in the ligand receptor interactions. Uh, this can lead to improved predictions of binding affinity, selectivity, and activity, as well as enhanced virtual screening and drug designing processes. 
identification of uh, 3d pharmacophores can lead to improved predictions of uh, binding affinity and enhance the drug discovery process the creation of a 3d pharmacophore typically involves use of advanced computational methods molecular docking simulations and structural information about uh, both the ligand and the target protein it can be a valuable tool for drug discovery lead optimization and rational drug design of new compounds with the desired pharmacological properties let us see there are different types of pharmacophore modeling or mapping one, first one is a ligand based pharmacophore modeling or mapping a pharmacophore model uh, can be created either using a ligand based approach which involves a superimposing a group of active molecules and identifying the chemical characteristics that are crucial uh, to their bioactivity or using structure based approach which involves looking for potential points of interaction between the molecular target and the ligands in the absence of macromolecular target structure ligand based pharmacophore modeling has emerged as a critical computational technique for facilitating drug discovery it is often done uh, by taking a set of uh, known ligands 3d structures and extracting common chemical characteristics that describe the key interactions between the ligands and a particular macromolecular target two forms of pharmacophore are frequently produced from ligands one is shared feature pharmacophore and next is qsar based pharmacophore the software is used are ligand scout uh, discovery studio catalyst and moe pharmacophore modeling are the software programs the next is uh, structure based pharmacophore modeling a macromolecular target or a macromolecule ligand complex 3d structure is directly used in structure based pharmacophore modeling in order to build a pharmacophore model with specific features the structure based pharmacophore modeling uh, processes first analyzes the complementary chemical features of the active site and their spatial correlations the two subcategories of uh, structure based pharmacophore modeling methodologies are macromolecule uh, ligand complex based and macromolecule that is without the ligand base softwares used are uh, e pharmacophore and discovery studio catalyst the next is uh, pharmacophore based virtual screening a pharmacophore model uh, can be then used to query the 3d chemical library to look for uh, potential ligands a process known as pharmacophore based virtual screening once it has been created using either a ligand based approach or structure based approach a pharmacophore hypothesis is used as a model in pharmacophore based virtual screening method actually the goal of screening is to identify the molecules that is the hits with chemical properties that are comparable to those of the template some of these hits might resemble well known active substances while others might have completely new scaffolds scaffold hopping is the term used to describe the search for molecules that have several scaffolds yet have a biological action next is pharmacophore uh, next concept is uh, pharmacophore based uh, de novo drug design de novo drug design of ligands is another use of pharmacophore in addition to pharmacophore based uh, virtual screening which has been already mentioned the compounds produced by a pharmacophore based uh, virtual screening are typically already existing substances that may be covered by patents in contrast to pharmacophore based virtual screening the de novo design uh, technique enables the creation of entirely new candidate structures that adhere to a specific pharmacophore's requirements so let us see the pharmacophore modeling uh, with a diagram so it may be ligand based or it may be structure based then you identify the common structural features and you create a map of this do a, align the all the structures together and study the common patterns that is called pharmacophore modeling then you go for molecular docking de novo drug design or activity profiling so it is a pharmacophore based virtual screening the let us see the process of pharmacophore mapping first one is uh, data collection collecting a set of ligands that are known to bind to the target of interest these ligands can either experimentally determined or generated through computational methods alignment the ligands are then aligned based on their common structural features and reference structure is chosen to represent the alignment 
this reference structure serves as a template for creating the Pharmaco4 model. Next is feature identification. Key, key chemical features that contribute to binding and activity such as uh, hydrogen uh, bond donors, uh, acceptors, aromatic rings, hydrophobic regions, etc. are identified in the reference structure and the aligned ligands. Pharmaco4 generation is the next step. Based on the identified features, the Pharmaco4 model is generated. This model is a 3D arrangement of the features in space representing the essential interactions required for binding to the target. Next is validation and optimization. The generated uh, Pharmaco4 model is uh, validated and refined through various techniques. This involves comparing the model's predictions with experimental data or using statistical methods to assess its predictive power. Next is virtual screening. Once a validated Pharmaco4 model is obtained, it can be used to screen large databases of compounds to identify potential new ligands that match the Pharmaco4. This helps in the early stages of drug discovery to narrow down the search for potential drug candidates. Then the final step is lead optimization. The identified compounds from virtual screening can be further optimized through iterative rounds of molecular design, synthesis, and testing to improve their binding affinity and selectivity for the target. So let us see this in a brief. What is Pharmaco4 based screening or modeling or mapping? So Pharmaco4 modeling is of two types. One is structure based or ligand based. So next is feature identification. You identify the common patterns which are there in the ligands. That is like hydrogen bond donor, hydrogen bond acceptor, hydrophobic regions aromatic regions then you create a map of it uh, in a 3d space you generate the pharmaco4 then you have to validate this uh, that is uh, sensitivity and specificity sensitivity is uh, number of uh, true positives by number of true positives plus number of true negatives specificity is uh, number of uh, true negatives divided by number of uh, true negatives plus number of false positives so you can validate it with uh, statistical methods or in vitro methods. Then based on this you go for scaffold hopping. Then molecular docking can be done which could be further progress to lead optimization. So this put together is called Pharmaco4 based screening. So in summary numerous commercial and academic Pharmaco4 modeling programs have been used and some of the algorithms include uh, polling restraints systematic torsional grids, directed tweak, genetic algorithms and Monte Carlo. Various automated Pharmaco4 generators have been created at the moment including software that is offered for purchase including Hip Hop, Hypogen, Disco, Gasp, Galahad, Face and MOE. The Pharmaco4 approach however continues to encounter a lot of obstacles uh, that prevents it from reaching it, uh, its full potential particularly in the light of need to lower the high cost currently involved in the drug discovery and development of novel drugs. So it's a very short information of uh, Pharmaco4 modeling or mapping or the concepts involved. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Go through all the series of videos available in the playlist of principles of uh, drug discovery in the Pharma Topics channel and score well in your forthcoming MPharm exams. Thank you.